In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to have a U-Win appear on the screen when the player of your game gets the sprite from the beginning of the maze to the end. So first, after going to the Scratch's website, scratch.mit.edu, um, you want to make sure you're signed in. So in the upper right corner, look for your username. If you're not signed in, sign in. Then we're going to click on this folder that says my stuff. And once your projects load, you're going to uh, make sure you're selecting the right project and you're going to click on see inside. In this case, it should be your project named Maze Game and at this point you should only have one called Maze Game. So I'm going to click see inside here. And right now we set it up in the last video that your bear moves and uh, so actually I need to press the space bar to activate this code right here. When the space bar is pressed, now the bear cannot move through these lines. And uh, I could move, take the time to move the bear down to the end, but there's really nothing or there's no way right now to um, set off anything in motion that would say you win because there's nothing here. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to make another sprite. So you hover over, choose, choose a sprite, and this time instead of selecting a sprite from the sprite gallery, we're going to make our own sprite with the paint tool. Uh, if you wanted to, you could choose another sprite for this. Uh, for example, if there was a cave in the gallery, you could have the bear go into a cave or some honey. Um, or some berries or something. But in this case, I'm just going to go to the paintbrush and I'm going to use the text tool and we're going to change the uh, color right now to um, cannot be black because the lines of the maze are black. If you leave it, if you were to make this sprite black, as soon as the bear touches it, um, it's going to send it back to the beginning. We can make it red. And uh, so I'm going to type end, and I'm going to use all caps. And uh, with the select tool, we can center this, but it doesn't really matter. It's helpful. And then we can put over here in the this workspace here, we uh, drag end to the end. And I'm actually going to um, make it bigger in here. And then recenter it, and we can... Let's keep adjusting it. So now it's pretty obvious where the end of the maze is. And so the goal would be to get our bear from here down to there without touching any of the lines. And um, when we do that, we're going to have you win appear, which is going to be another sprite, which we will make the same way with the paint. And uh, we can make it blue. Let's try blue. Click on the text tool. And I'm going to type you win in all caps with three exclamation points. And let's make this nice and big. Maybe not that big, so we can resize from the corner here. And let's put you win right here like this. Okay. So now that we have our UN sprite, we need to add some code so that when this bear touches end, which happens to be sprite one, you win appears. So we'll go back to the bear, because this is where, and actually we need to be on code. This is where we're actually gonna say, if the bear is touching sprite one, we're gonna kick off an event then we'll, which will have you win show. So we're going to use this um, same forever block, and inside there we're going to add another control, which is orange. And we're going to put in another if then. And this time we're going to say for sensing, instead of if touching a color, which could work, we could put if touching color and then uh, change that to red. This time we're going to use if or just touching where it says mouse pointer is actually a drop down menu. It shows you a list of all your sprites. So we're going to use this block and remember that point has to drop into there. And we're going to say if touching sprite one, 
And the reason I'm selecting Sprite 1 is because our end, or the end of the maze, is Sprite 1. So we click on Sprite 1, and now we say, if touching Sprite 1, something needs to happen. Well, there's no super easy way right now just to have you win appear. We have to put in a series, uh, or put in some blocks that will trigger you win to appear. And that's called a broadcast. That's under, and broadcasts are under events, which is the yellow section over here. And we're looking for broadcast. And the default message is message one. That can say anything. I'll show you that this works with message one, and then I will change the message to something else. So right now we say when the space bar is pressed, if that bear gets to the end, it's going to broadcast the message one. Then all we need to do on you win is say appear when message one is received. But as of right now, you win is always there. So let's go to you win. And we need to tell it to hide. And when's it going to hide? We're going to have it hide when the flag is clicked. Because you always start a scratch project by clicking the flag, green flag. So we're going to, under events, we're going to add a green flag. And then we got to go to looks, which is the darker purple, and look for hide. And it is the uh, one of the last blocks in the looks section. So we're going to say when the green flag is clicked, we're going to hide. And I will tell you right now, anytime you have a hide, you always gonna, are going to have a show. So let's click the green flag and you'll see you win goes away. Okay. And then what we're going to do is go back to events and we're going to say when I receive message one, show. So let's switch back to the bear and review what's happening here. If the bear we're on the bear. If the bear is touching Sprite 1, we're going to broadcast message 1, which means send out to the rest of your Scratch project this message 1. And then over here on you win, when I receive message 1, we're going to show. So let's try it. I'm going to click the green flag. I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to drag the bear to here. And then I'm going to use my arrow key. And as soon as we touch end or Sprite 1, you win should appear. Okay. And it didn't, and I will tell you why. It did not appear yet because after clicking the green flag, I never pressed the space bar. After pressing the space bar, that now will cause this code right here to run, and now when the bear touches end, you win will appear. And it may seem like an extra step to have spacebar in here, but you'll see why that's important later on when we're adding instructions to our game. So let's stop it, click the green flag, and uh, press the spacebar so that we're starting over. I'm going to use the arrow keys this time to move my bear over, and let's just hit the black line and see that it does in fact work. Sends the bear back to the beginning of the maze. So I'm going to move my bear down using the arrow keys. And because the green flag was clicked, you win is currently hiding. And because we pressed the space bar, the code that has when the bear touching the end trigger you win to appear, everything should work. So when I get to the end, you win should pop up.